We are announcing today that we are following a comprehensive bill uh, that provides additional sanctions against the Russian Federation uh, for its activities against the U.S. interest. Uh, we have been attacked. We have been attacked by Russia. That is no longer subject to any debate. So we provide additional sanctions against the individuals responsible for the cyber attack against our nation. These, these sanctions vary from dealing with their ability to export, uh, their ability to use our banking system, to use procurement here in America, or holding United States property. The legislation goes further. It builds on the current sanctions that we have against Russia for their activities in Ukraine, uh, their violation of the Minsk Agreement, and their occupation of Crimea, their interference in eastern Ukraine, and their occupation in Georgia. We go further by providing uh, additional sanctions in regards to those activities. We must act, and we can act, and we will act, in my view, in a bipartisan fashion. And none of us know the position of the president-elect, but we should know and will know the position of the Congress of the United States. I'm not saying, I don't think anyone's saying, that the uh, interference in our election changed the outcome. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not trying to undermine the legitimacy of President Trump's, Lex Trump, uh, victory. I am trying to tell him and the country and my colleagues that if we don't do something about it, it's only going to get worse. And it's not far down the road before they could change the outcome.